really want to leave me. What is it? No, it didn't. Leave me. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction and violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering, depressed, alone, suicidal. Well, I God is with you, and this situation of yours is going to change. But this show is here to bring hope to the hopeless, to prove to you that there is a solution. Now, on the air with Bishop Joshua. The Showdown of Faith. Wake up, America. The Spirit of God is with you. And he has prepared this day to change your life. Talking about change, Nori is there with us today, ready to put your name inside of the holy oil. Because the God of the Bible wants to change this person's life, Nori. Yes, and the person that is watching us right now and they want this change of life, they can begin to call our helpline. The number that you can dial, one 332 41 41 there in the helpline we have the team of faith and they're ready to answer your call whatever problem situation that you are facing you can let them know and once i have your name and the problem that you're going through will be placed here inside of the holy oil you can also feel free to send your prayer request through text message that number is 1-888-312-4141 you can send your pictures the pictures of your loved ones because we will keep them in prayer you can also prepare a glass of water, a bottle of water, and you can place it right next to your television because before the end of the program, we'll be praying for all of you. I don't understand how everything got to this point. First, it was the unexpected pain in my legs. I went to a specialist, but no reason was found. Sometimes I can't stand for too long. I need my strength for my job, but I have not been able to do it and was replaced by someone else. Living off Unemployment income has gotten me behind on all of my bills. I don't even have enough to buy food, and I worry about my kids day and night. Even they have been acting strangely too. Before they were so sweet, but now I feel they hate me somehow. I feel it's all my fault. To make things worse, I got into a car wreck. Without health, without income, without transportation. At night, I've been seeing shadows. I can't sleep. I lost so much weight. All of this in less than a year. I don't know how to deal with all of this. It's too much to bear. I have too much on my plate. This has been your problem. You have too much on your plate. When I say too much on your plate, I want to show you now what is going on with you. You can see this plate now. And this has been your problem. Depression and anxiety, too much in your plate, addictions. These plates symbolize your life. Huh? Lord, all motivation. So all these problems you can see on this plate is what is going on with you. But today is the day that God will empty your plate. In a few, we are going to pray for you. And we are going to ask the God of the Bible, the one that is able to empty your plate and give you peace and solve all these problems that you are facing in your life, we are going to pray for you. In a few, we are going to pray. And I want you now to watch the testimony of Miss Julia. This lady, she had her place also full of problems. You can see Miss Julia now. She was passing through all these problems. You know, failed uh, relationships, also emptiness. She was depressed. She was suffering a lot. But God, he emptied her plate. I want you to pay attention to her testimony in a few. We are going to be back with you. I didn't want to have friends. 
I didn't want to uh, spend time with my family. I prefer to be alone inside, inside of my house, in my apartment. I close my room with a, with a black box, the garbage box, and the windows to be dark. My name is Julia, I work as a cashier. Because of my sentimental life, it was too many situations that it wasn't making me happy. So because of that, uh, I let my boyfriend to know, I let him know that it wasn't going that well, I wasn't feeling good with him. And he, we, we keep continue being together, but he didn't do nothing and I, did, I wasn't doing anything to fix it. So I closed myself. I didn't, I didn't want to have friends. I didn't want to uh, spend time with my family. They, my family used to go out to have, you know, the good times and the weekends. That I, I prefer to be alone inside, inside of my house, in my apartment. I close my room with a, with a black box, the garbage box, and the windows to be dark. It, while more black and dark is gonna be inside of my room, it was, for me, that was happy. The only thing that makes me to do it was just to go to work because I had to pay my rent. My brothers, they used to see me like that and they used to cry for me because they were so sad seeing me like that. Seeing me like, like sick people. I wasn't sick, but I was laying down in a bed all day. I didn't know nothing about God. So I just know that I say, God, if you really help me, if you really exist, if you really exist, help me. Same the week after the small prayer that I did, I was going to, on the street, uh, but I was, you know that person that they are alive, but at the same time they are dead. I was that kind of person, I was alive, but inside I was dead. Some lady on the street and she saw me and she said to me, I wanna invite you to come to church. So uh, she was having a, a newspaper to the Universal Church. The first Fridays I was starting coming to church, that, uh, that depression went away, that told that I was to kill myself went away. If I already felt like this, and I can imagine how, how it is to have the Holy Spirit inside of me. The day that I received the Holy Spirit, I feel like, like Jesus was hugging me, like, I love you. Like, I die in the cross for you, Julia. I heard everything. I'm like, oh my God, how somebody can do that for me? Why am I suffering if somebody did that for me? And I keep down until now that God suffered in the cross for me. No more bad times to kill myself. No more depression. No more nothing. I just, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy that uh, before I, I couldn't smile myself. I couldn't smile, I could, you know, I, you, some people, you know, there is some people that they smile, but that is not that kind of smile that comes from inside. It's just a smile from outside. I used to have that kind of smile. But after that night that I received the Holy Spirit, I had a truly smile in, inside of me. I love myself. And because I was so attached of my ex-boyfriend, um, God makes me free of it. And right now, I got married a year ago. I have a very good uh, husband. He loves me, I love him, he respects me, I respect him. So God changed my life inside and outside. Is anyone among you suffering? Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. You are going to call 888-332-4141 and we will help you in prayers, especially for you who say, I am in suffering, in pain, in despair. 
A pastor will pray for you, and your name will be placed inside of the holy oil. Call now, 888-332-4141. Someone will be available to assist you in prayers. And when you do call the helpline, you won't be prompted to many different options, but you will speak to a live person. I already have names of those who are calling the helpline and asking for prayer. We have Emily. She is asking prayer for her family to be blessed and protected. She also wants financial breakthrough. We have Mrs. Angela who wants good health. She says she suffers from poor circulation. She wants God to restore her health completely. Miss Melinda, she is asking prayer for her granddaughter, for her to be protected and stay on the right track. And we have Mrs. Joan who is asking prayer for deliverance. Mrs. Joan and those mentioned, your names are inside of the holy oil. Apart from calling the helpline, you can send your prayer request through text message 1-888-312-4141. And if you want to remain anonymous, you don't want your name to be mentioned on air, that's not a problem. Just let the counselors know, but your prayer request will still go inside of the holy oil. Help is at hand and is just a phone call away. It doesn't matter how you are, what your pain, or what your suffering is. Jesus Christ is telling you now, speak out, I'm all ears. And those who want to talk to us, you can uh, call because we are going to help you. Right now, we are going to talk to Mr. Brian, all the way from Ohio. Hello, Mr. Brian. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Mr. Brian, tell me, please, how can I help you today? What has been the cause of your problems, your suffering? Um, just... Just overall, I've just been struggling, uh, just in this next phase um, of my of my life, just with everything, with just um, health, you know, physical health, mental health, and um, especially during this pandemic, um, and I just I feel like I've just been getting spiritually attacked, um, just in a lot of different ways, uh, having like nightmares having like weird feelings, weird presence, like a weird feeling like there's a weird presence around me, having like twitching on my body and stuff like that. Uh been feeling really low. Um you know, have had like uh just went through like depressive moods, just things that I just have never experienced really before. Um and suicidal thoughts, stuff like that. Um a lot of self-condemnation, self-condemning thoughts. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, um, yeah, I just kind of, kind of just, it kind of, things just have changed. Uh -huh. um, uh, Mr. Brian, uh, through, yeah. through your words, I can perceive that you are so depressed. I can perceive that you are depressed. Before we, we talk to you and pray for you, I want you to see now Nori, because she is writing down all your requests, the problems that you are speaking to me. And we are going to show her right now, put your name inside of the holy oil and your request, because this oil symbolizes the Holy Spirit. I know you are suffering, you have these nightmares, you will have these... Uh, health problems, you are under spiritual attack, but the Holy Spirit is the one that will set you free. Nori, yes. uh, can you put his name now inside of the Holy Oil? Yes, Pastor Marcia, I did write down his name and all the problems that he did mention, Mr. Brian. I'm placing your name inside of the Holy Oil right now, and we will be praying for your complete deliverance, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Brian, pay attention now and see this place. I want to show now this plate because this is what is happening with you right now. Let me show you now this plate here for you. Because today we are going to ask God to empty your plate. Because you said you were soft, you are under spiritual attack. 
you have this disease in your body, suicidal thoughts, nightmares. So your plate is full of problems. But God is the one that will empty your plate. Because for sure you have no peace at all. You have no peace. But God promised to give us peace. That's why I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray. You don't deserve to be suffering like this. Mr. Brian, you were not born to be suffering. You were born to be happy. That's why I will pray for you. We are going to remove this evil spirit from your life. And in front of their own, these suicidal thoughts, these nightmares, these depression will go away. And you are the next person that will call us back to testify, to say, now I'm sleeping in peace. Now my life has changed. Can I pray for you now? Yeah. Can you come close to your TV for us to pray together? Yes. Okay. Yes, come close to your TV. Come close to your TV. Put your forehead here against mine. If you can, put your forehead here now against mine. Can you do it? Yes, yes, Pastor. Now my life has changed. Let me pray for you now. Close your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, my father, Mr. Brian, he's passing through all these problems. His plate is full of, my father, problems, suicidal thoughts, spiritual attack, disease. And I'm here, my God, right now to remove this evil spirit from his life. Because, my father, believe in your power. In what I have, gold and silver, I do not have. But what I have, I pass to you right now, Mr. Brian. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free from this spirit attack. Be free from this pain in your body right now. Be free from this insomnia, depression, suicidal thoughts. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command all evil that is inside of your body to get out and never return. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive peace right now, Mr. Brian. What I have, I give to you right now. The peace that I have, the joy that I have, the happiness that I have, I pass to you. In Jesus' name, say amen. amen. Mr. Brian, mm -hmm. look at me here. You are healed. You are free. Believe, and tonight you sleep like a baby. And I want you to call us back for you to testify. All right? Yes, Pastor. Thank you. You're welcome. You can prepare a cup of water because in a few we are going to bless this water for you to drink. I want you to keep watching the show because from now on you will be making part of our family and your life. You'll be blessed, and you no longer will be the same. Okay? That's yes, Pastor. Have a blessed day. Thank you. You too. Be blessed. All those who are watching us, every single day and every single Friday, we have a special pray for deliverance in this ministry. If you are living under attack, a spiritual attack, you have been victim of witchcraft, black magic. You don't know what's going on with your health. We have a special prayer, a strong prayer Friday, the service for deliverance. And this is the day you have to come to the Universal Church. The works of evil are all around. When nothing goes right in your life, when you work hard and all your plans go downhill. Oh. Is everything all right? No. Did I just go? 
when all of a sudden that caring and loving spouse betrays, abuses, or puts you down. Tonight, our first look at the FBI's investigation into the man accused of murdering his wife and three children. When losses become something common in your day-to-day -day life, when all hope is gone, there are situations that are caused by a spiritual problem, and only the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, can set you free. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Friday in the Universal Church is a day to break all these chains of oppression and depression through the power of faith, so that once and for all, you may be set free from all evil works in your life. Friday at a Universal Church near you. This is what Jesus wants to do. He wants to set you free. He's the Son. If the Son set you free, you shall be free indeed. Kimberly, she was suffering from depression. She is the one that came to the Universal Church Friday. She took part of this chain of prayer. She received the strong prayer in this day. And she was set free from depression, addictions, and all the problems, spiritual problems she had in her life. I want you to pay attention to her testimony now. I was just miserable. I wasn't happy at home. And I had made friends with some people from a different state. And we became really close. My friend, she ended up becoming my best friend. She told me that I could come live with her, with her parents in New York. I was only 14 years old when I decided to leave my family and to run away to New York City to live with her. She had told me that she used to prostitute and that she knew an easy way to get money. I actually ran into escort agencies, which are agencies, people. Three years, I lived in New York. I prostituted myself. After learning the ropes, I left the agencies and I did it on my own. And it was a lot of build up resentment that I just numbed with marijuana and alcohol and sometimes even cocaine. One day I was so miserable, I just broke down. It was the first time I had like a mental breakdown. I was finished. I was like in the bathroom crying, like bawling my eyes out. It was, it was really miserable. It was a really miserable lifestyle that I was living. I need to go back in, to my mom's house. I need to tell her I'm sorry. I need to, I need to step back from what I'm doing. Then I called my mom and I asked my mom, told her I was sorry and if she can come get me. And immediately she came to come get me. A high school friend had invited me to the youth group. He had a direction from one of the YPG leaders. So I came, I came at 10 a.m. I didn't really have a second thought about it. I'd never been to church, but I knew this friend for a long time. And I knew if he was inviting me, it must be fun because I always had good memories with him being respectful towards me and nice to me in school. After that, I kept coming. Um, I enjoyed the youth group. I thought it was so fun. I saw so many people who are my age. And so that was the first change that I saw. The second change I saw was being free from depression. I started to notice like, okay, I don't, I'm not like dependent on weed anymore. Like I'm not dependent on it and I'm not, I don't feel sad. I don't feel like something's weighing over me. And after I prayed and I asked him to help me and I've told God that I was sorry that, you know, I'm not gonna smoke ever again, I'm done with it. Like, I felt like that highness just leave my body. I wasn't high anymore and I was so grateful because that bad feeling was going away and I was like, I need to go to church tomorrow because this is, that's not helping me and I need to do better. Everybody who looked at me thought I was good. I seemed happy, my financial life was good. I was making money, I was in school. I did what people told me to do, I had a good character, I carried myself well, I dressed well, I never wear anything that was bad. I am so grateful that God did so much for me. I have no addictions to drugs. I am happy, happy with my personality. I'm happy with myself. I'm always looking at myself to see is there anything that, that I'm ignoring? Is there anything that's holding me back? Is there something that I can work on? And sometimes it's something I don't wanna hear but each and every time I hear it with open ears, God helped me to be mature, to be, 
more thoughtful in my decisions and the things I say and do, and I'm learning each and every day. I'm so happy, I'm so grateful for what God has done for me. I forgave my mom, me and my mom. We don't always see eye to eye, but I see her not just as my parent, but as a soul, as a person with feeling. And our relationship today is of mutual respect. My mom respects me now because she's seen my transformation and most of all, because I respect her. I have peace today, I'm happy, I'm happy with myself. I don't need a bunch of friends to surround me to be happy. I can enjoy my own company. Now I get to understand myself, figure out the things that I like to do that are healthy for me. I'm, it's like I'm getting to know myself all over again. So each and every day is a date with myself and a date with God. Why are you suffering? www.ulfn.org slash online pastor. 24 hours. Access now and speak now with a pastor. You don't need to continue suffering. www.ulfn.org slash online pastor. You have many ways and means in order to reach out for help. You can also be able to chat with a pastor online. All you need to do is to visit our website, ulfn.org. I have more names of those who are calling the helpline, even those who are sending their prayer requests through text message. So if you're watching us and you say, I have a lot on my plate and you are in need of help, you can reach out because we have a team of faith that is ready to help you. We have Kanisha. She is asked in prayer for deliverance. She wants to be set free from depression. She also wants her family to be blessed. Kanisha, your name is inside of the holy oil. We have Miss Yvette. She is asked in prayer for good health and for a breakthrough in her finance. Mrs. Verdeen is asked in prayer for her loved ones. She left their names as well to be placed inside of the holy oil. And we have Russell who is asked in prayer for financial stability and for there to be peace and unity in the family. Russell and those mentioned, your names are inside of the holy oil. We do have Mr. Jeremy. He sent his prayer request through text message. He is asked in prayer for deliverance for his family, also for a financial breakthrough. We also have Mrs. Anderson who reached out, asked in prayer for her family. Many people are doing so. If you want to send your prayer request through text message or the pictures of your loved ones, 1-888-312-4141, as you can see on your screen, because help is at hand and is just a phone call away. As much as you would like to plan your future, it always has a way of surprising you with bad news, more bills to pay, and tragedies without reason, leaving you in frustration as you barely make ends meet for you and your family. Yet, in the same way that unfortunate events play out, God can bring an unexpected surprise of blessings to the one that applies their faith. Now, stay tuned for more on Unexpected Blessings right here. On the Moment of Prosperity with a Showdown of Faith. And this is the moment for you to sow your seed into this ministry. We are not asking you to help the ministry. No, no, no. You sow your seed because God wants to prosper you. You sow your seed because God wants to open new doors for you. We are not he asking you to give a donation. No. We are telling you that you sow your seeds as it is written here in the Bible. Jesus said, do not despise prophecies. You know what we are going to do? We have right now. Pastors, pastors' wives, men, women of God, ready to prophesy prosperity upon you. And you shall receive this unexpected blessing upon your life. Can you see them? They are men and women of God. Pastors, pastors' wives, they will prophesy. And you will sow your seed right now. This number that appears in your screen is our number for you to sow your seeds. 1-888-691-2244. 1-888-691-2244. 1-888-691-2244. 1-888-691-2244. 
888-888-9191. You can call us right now. And when you sow your seeds, hey, hey, when you sow your seeds, God will open the heavens for you. And he will bring from heaven's prosperity. Yes, blessings. The honor that you want to your life. You can sow your seed right now of a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars or more, a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, or if you want, God has taught you, you will donate a Bible. You can sow your seed of a hundred and thirteen dollars. When you donate the seeds, when you sow the seeds, you will help a mate, a person that is in prison right now. In need of life. And the word of God is life to this person. You have many Bibles in your home. More than one. But many of them, they are in prison. And they don't have Bible. But when you donate the Bible, you give us conditions to help this person. You'll be saving these inmates. I want you to see right now what we have done with your seeds. When you sow your seed, you are also helping us to help the community, as we did there in Oklahoma. Our unisocial reach out the people, the community there in Oklahoma. Hello, Mr. Josh, and all the viewers of the show that we're we are here in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Social work. We know that in this time people they are need, and that's why we have some of these boxes here that we are going to distribute for those who need of And I would like to give thanks to those who are helping us through the showdown of faith by giving the support, by helping with the seed, because we know that by helping us doing this work, we'll be able to reach those who are needy, those who are suffering. And now we are here in Oklahoma and we are working now to give this food for those who are need, for those who are really would like to receive a help. And I appreciate all the help of the viewers of the show down of this. And we want to thank all the sponsors because when you sow your seed, you are giving us conditions to help the community. And also, if you want, you can get one Bible for you. $113 is the seeds that you sow, and you can get this Bible. Or as you see, many of those who are in prison, as we said. I was talking to a lady that said, Pastor, I want to donate a Bible because I have five in my house. And I know they mates, they don't have Bible to read. I can imagine them in prison, crying, in despair, asking for help. And I believe when I give them this Bible, Pastor, they will receive life when they read. God is touching you right now for you to donate a Bible. You can donate 10 Bibles or more, five Bibles, at least one. You can call us right now. The number appears in your screen again for you to uh, remember for you to call 1 888 691 This is the number for you to call and you will donate this Bible. I want you to watch this video now with us, and in a few, we are going to be back with you. People consider the holiday season the most wonderful time of the year. But for men and women behind bars, it can be painful and lonely. While you get together with family and friends for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the New Year, 
Prison inmates will feel isolated from their loved ones. And with the present lockdown, it will be even harder. But nothing can stop God himself from working through his word. Help the lonely, depressed, and suicidal who are behind bars by donating a Bible this holiday season. Call 888-691-2291 or go to our website, ulfn.org slash donate and donate a Bible through our UBB prison program. Remember the prisoners as if chained with them. Help us save a soul. Call now and donate a Bible today, 888-691-2291. Sow your seed today and reap the blessings of God in your life as it is written. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. To all the viewers of the Showdown of Faith on Living Faith, you have two different ways in which you can sow your seed by calling us at 1-888-691-2291. Our assistants are ready to answer your call and guide you through the process of sowing your seed by mail. Send your check or money order under the name of the Universal Church to 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. You can continue calling in to sow your seed to sponsor a Bible for a man, a woman who is behind bars. Because now in this holiday season, many of them enter into depression because they don't hear from their loved ones. So you can feel free to call in to sponsor a Bible for one of them. Or you can continue calling to have your name placed inside of the holy oil. I have more, more names of those who are calling in. We have Mr. Edward. He is asking prayer for every area of his life mr edward your name is inside of the holy oil we have catherine she is asking prayer for deliverance she also wants a blessed love life and for her children to be protected we have mr anthony he wants a financial breakthrough in his life he wants his love life to be blessed as well and mrs barbara she is asking prayer for complete and total healing in her body mrs barbara and those mentioned your names are inside of the holy oil you can call the helpline you won't be prompted to many different options you won't get the voicemail but you will speak to a man a woman of god who will hear you and also pray for you we do have someone on the line mr thomas in need of spiritual counseling pastor marcia will help him right now yes mr mr thomas yes sir mr thomas tell me how can i help how can i view can i be uh, uh, of help today uh, prayer, prayer, prayer. Uh, pray for the healing in my body, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, and pray for a debt cancellation. For how long are you suffering from these problems, these sickness in your body? Uh, since about 2003. Are you feeling pain right now? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Okay, I want you to prepare a glass of water. I know you're watching us, and you can prepare a cup of water like mine because we are going to pray for you, Mr. Thomas. And when we pray, you drink this water. The water will no longer be a regular water, but this water that you prepare will become a holy medication. And your faith, together with this water you drink, we wash away your body. We wash away this pain, this sickness you have in your body, and you'll be set free. Okay? Yes. I yes. know you need, uh, you need healing from these problems you have in your body since 2003. You are passing through this financial problem, but God will reverse this situation. You are not watching the showdown of faith in vain. You didn't call the showdown of faith in vain. And you also will call us back to testify. Because I will pray for you in a few. I just want you to keep watching the show. Prepare water. Because God will visit you today. And he will heal you. And you open doors for you. All right? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you, sir. 
Amen. So I want you now to understand that God is alive. Hey, hey, God is not dead. He is alive. And here we have now a live testimony to prove to you that God can transform your life. Miss Leon is here with us today, and she came here to uh, show you God's power. Right, Miss Leon? Yes. Pastor. How was your life before you came to this ministry? I know that you were passing through many problems. Today, we are telling those who are watching us that God will empty their plates because their plate is full of problems. How was your life before you came to church? I was a single mother with four kids and one that I had adopted from a mother that was addicted to drugs. And unfortunately, my kid's father had abused me, so I walked out of the relationship. So sorry to interrupt you. Who was addicted to drugs? No, I adopted a uh -huh. daughter, a, a, a baby, mm -hmm. because her mother was addicted to drugs. Her mother was addicted to drugs. Yes. Uh -huh. So they had to keep the baby in the hospital like for three months to take the drugs from her system. Mm -hmm. And I took that baby from the hospital at three months old. Mm -hmm. And I had that kid and three others at home. And it's funny, the, the government offered me money for this kid. And I said to them, no, I don't want the money. This is my child. I'll keep this kid because she's mine. And the lady said, I've never seen another woman do something like you this. You told me you were suffering from depression. And what was the cause of your depression? And after the, well, as I said, my, I had a little, my kid's father had abused me. And I kicked him from the relationship. I didn't want to have anything more to do with him. After a while, I start going through a lot of problems. Bills were piling up. I mean, I could hardly even find food. I had to go and apply for so to get some food stamps to help me. And I just felt like, no, I don't want to live no more. This is not the life I want. I cannot live like this. You were living a, a, a miserable life. Very miserably. Mm -hmm. I can't pay my bills, I can I was depressed that I felt like, that's it, Lord, I don't want to live no more. One Saturday, I was walking down in um, Utica and Church Avenue. Just a sec, did you try to commit suicide? I almost did, mm -hmm. I tried. I because used to, of all this problem. Because all this problem, I used to go to the bar on the weekends just to drink, to get away, to, to end, try oh, to- Oh, you were drinking also? I used to drink because I was so depressed. Uh -huh. You were trying to cover this so depression just to cover, by drinking. Just to drink in to cover this depression and to just to forget the problems. Mm -hmm. And for how long were you suffering from depression? It was almost a year. Almost a year. Almost a year. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? Because uh, uh, many people, when they watch the show of faith, they see people come here to testify, say, I was depressed, my life was destroyed, and now my life is transformed. And some of them, they don't know what he, uh, uh, you did to transform your life. I want you to let them know now. How did you know about this ministry? Because you are here today, we can see in your face, you are happy. Your yes, life is transformed. I am. I am. But I want you to tell us, what did you do to be set free to overcome this depression? How did you know about the church? Well, one, one Saturday morning, I was walking to the store. And there were some ladies standing out there evangelizing, giving out flyers and I took one. They invited me to the church, and that's, that was a Saturday. The Sunday, I was in the Universal Church. Coming to, the first day I went to the church, and the way everything was said, and I could feel the difference within me. And one of the things that got to me with this church was that they said, come as you are. The mm -hmm. church is open. Come as you are. It doesn't matter. Come as you are. And that is one thing I will never forget that was said. Come as you are. So you were drinking. You were depressed. You were suicidal. Uh, suicidal. Yes. You were living misery. So when you came to church and you heard the pastor say, come as you are, how did you feel? Because many people, they think if they come to church drinking, you know, addicted. 
I, they will be charged. In your case, what happened when you heard the pastor say, come as you are? When I heard that, I said, this is the right place for me. And any other people who think that, no, I can't go to the church. No, this was the church for me. And today I can say, thank God for bringing me to the universal church. I have seen so many change. First, I got the idea in, a, in not even about me three, four months while I was in the church to open my own daycare, mm -hmm. which I did. I had an own based daycare in my house. The, the, the city came and they looked and said, and I got the okay to have, to have that daycare. And that was one of the biggest thing that had ever happened to me. For a person that was uh, uh, depending on others, when you came, God gave an idea for God you to gave me an idea to open daycare. my own daycare, own based daycare. And that had brought a total transformation in my life. How is your life today, your financial life? Today, I am blessed. Mm -hmm. No more misery. No more misery. I mean, this church, this universal church has brought about, I mean, what should I say? A total transformation in my life, my thoughts, my actions, and bring me closer to God as I was filled with the Holy Spirit. What about the depression that you had? No more depression. No more. No more suicidal thoughts. <laughs> We can see in your smile. <laughs> even in church, they always say, you're always smiling. <laughs> I said, because I am blessed. And I have one more thing to say. My son, he is 31, and he went in the, um, the Navy four months ago, and he's in California. Yes. And he wrote me a letter, and he said to me, mommy, you don't know, thank God. Just like that in the letter, it said, you've always been praying for us. And sometimes the things that you tell us that you're praying for, it happens. And today, I can tell you, thanks, mom, because I keep praying, just like you said, and God is working out things for me. You have peace today? I have peace. You have the Holy Spirit. I have the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. And I am blessed. I am happy. Completely transformed. Completely transformed. Amen. That, this is you know, one thing again, okay. even my landlord, she would come and she said to me, I can't understand it. What it is. Look at you, a single mother, and look at your life, and look at your kids. And I would say to her, thank God. This is the Holy Spirit that transformed that your life. transformed my life. And is blessing all the areas of your life. All the areas of my life. You see, my friend, she said, she heard uh, uh, the pastor that said, come as you are. How are you right now? You are there in your house. Now you have your bottle of alcohol. You have cocaine in front of you, marijuana. You are living a bad life. You are considered... The lost, you know, case, the black sheep of your family. But for us, you are a person that will come as Miss Leone came, and you'll be the next testimony in this church. If you live here in New York and you want to transform your life, you can come to see us. Our address is 1001 Fulton Street, Brooklyn, New York. You can see now our cathedral. We are located here between Franklin and Classen Avenue. Seven days a week, we are open, receiving people that are suffering, destroyed, and God is blessing them, restoring their lives, transforming their lives. This is what he will do for you and your family. The Universal Church is open every day, seven days a week in Brooklyn, 1091 Fulton Street, Brooklyn, New York, 11238.
Bishop Joshua. My name is Jennifer. I have been suffering from depression for the past 10 years. Please pray for me. If you prefer to send us a text message, maybe you don't want to call, you don't want to speak to nobody. What you need right now is a text. So send a text message. Send the pictures of the family members. Maybe you don't want to talk over the phone. You don't want to hear anybody. You need to chat. So if you want to chat with somebody, we are here. This is my number, 1-888-312-4141. Make sure that when you send the text, you send your name, prayer request, and also pictures. Send Bishop Joshua a text message now if you are in need of spiritual help, have a question, or would like to send the pictures of your family. 1-888-312-4141. Sending your prayer request through text message is another option that you do have. Many people have been doing so. You can feel free to do the same, even sending in your pictures as well. Bishop Joshua always has his device and you will receive a reply back. Many people are continuing to call the helpline as well. And a few Pastor Marcia will pray for all of you. But before I have more names to be placed inside of the holy oil, Mr. Thomas, he spoke to Pastor Marcio not too long ago. Mr. Thomas, your name is inside of the holy oil. We have Mrs. Deborah. She is asking prayer for her son, for him to have a financial breakthrough in his life. He has a lot on his plate, a lot that's going on in his life. We have Miss Shirlene. She is asking prayer for her children to be blessed and protected. And we have Mrs. Coleman. She feels as if everything in her life is going wrong. She wants a complete turnaround. Mrs. Coleman and those mentioned, your names are inside of the holy oil. But right now, you can grab your bottle of water, your cup of water in your hand because it is the moment of the prayer. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain. My Lord and my Father, O oh God of the Bible, the only one that can empty their place. My God, I pray to you right now on behalf of this person that is asking for you to do it right now. They are, my God, fed up of this situation because they cannot eat, they cannot sleep because of depression. They cannot eat because of this sickness. My God, this person is living in misery. My God, I pray for those who are suffering because my father, they got divorced. This family, my God, has been destroyed by the evil one. Oh Lord, so many problems on their plates. But right now I believe that you are, my God, cleaning, emptying their plates right now. You are the one that is visiting this person in the hospital. He has to take them out of this place. You are the one that is going to this house to restore this family. My God, you are opening doors right now to your people. To those, my God, who sold their seeds today. To those, my God, who called us asking to put their names inside of the holy oil. Because, my Father, they are suffering. So honor our faith right now and empty their plates, my Father. Remove all these problems from their lives and transform them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, my God, for all those who have their water ready. I determine, my Father, when they drink this water, your great power will enter in their lives to give them peace, to give them, my God, life in the name of the Father, 
the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is what we determine. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Praise God. My friend, your water is blessed. I want you to drink in faith in Jesus' name. That God heard our prayer, and now your plate is empty. He solved your problem, and you see the results in Jesus' name. Believe in that. This Friday, we are going to have our service for deliverance, our meeting. And you are in need of deliverance. And if you live in Texas... We have our church in Texas, and you can see Bishop Joshua personally at 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas. The zip code is 77074. This is our church there in Texas, where you can find Bishop Joshua that will be praying for you, and for sure you will be set free. Once again, the scene was changed. 